Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. I'm not gonna lie, I slept in a little, it's 11 a.m., but I'm ready to start grinding today. The last few days, I haven't been able to do that much work on the startup, and that's because my internship and this social media stuff took over a little bit. So that means that I have a few meetings to catch up with everything, and I also have to go ahead and look through a bunch of different pull requests. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, for sure. The absolute priority over the next few days is to make sure that we finish the landing page and make it absolutely perfect. This is because we're going to start to soft launch the app through the landing page. Users won't be able to do literally anything but see the landing page and then sign up to our email list. But that way, they'll be able to get contacted by the time that we actually start releasing the data and further implementations. And starting to gather that sort of user base is exactly what you need when you're an early stage startup. Okay, so right now when you go on our landing page, we have all of these little icons and stuff and a join community button. But as you can see, there's this demo video option and we need to go ahead and build that video out right now the idea is to go ahead and mimic what they do at head starter and as you can see the video kind of zooms in on all of the key features highlighting everything the priority is to get it so soon because frosh is coming up in two or three days i think and for those of you that don't know frosh basically means freshman orientation it's a five-day party i'd say where all the freshmen that are coming in get to know each other they go explore the city, all the clubs that are available, stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and set up a booth for Empor just to start spreading the word about our product before we actually start the release. And this is why I'm so happy that I'm only one of the co-founders here because I don't have to worry about all this marketing side of things, which honestly is the downside for a lot of software developers that try to make their own startup from scratch. Like marketing is arguably 70 to 80% of the app itself. If you don't have a good marketing team, you're never going to be successful. Right now, we have our products tab where we can list out all the products you want to sell or rent, as well as our services tab where we could do stuff like tutoring, or helping somebody move in or DJing, that kind of thing. But what we have to implement is the M or pick section. Right now, it's just a clone of the products, but what we want to have is all the tickets that will be on sale. Also, a bit of a side note, but I've been using this ugly ass keyboard and I need some suggestions to upgrade down below. I am not a believer in all those people telling you to wake up at 5 a.m. and get your work done immediately. I personally get all my best work done between midnight and 3 a.m. at night. I know it's a bit insane, but that's just how I am. There's just something about the fact that the rest of your day is done and there's nobody else awake. So there's literally no distractions besides your work. And also, I'm a really big procrastinator. So I usually have a lot of my work pile up towards the end of the day. And I kind of get into a mentality where I'm like, I cannot let myself go to sleep until I finish what had to be done. It's probably not healthy or sustainable, but that's just the way I am. It's worked really well for me so far. It's 2 a.m. right now. I got back from my soccer game a while ago, and I honestly just couldn't stop myself from coding again. I swear developers find the solutions to their bugs in the weirdest places. After my game, I was showering. Yes, developers shower. And all of a sudden, a possible solution just came to my head and I was like trying to rush to be able to come back to my code to try to implement it. And it actually worked, which is crazy. I'm usually not able to fix bugs spontaneously like this at 2 a.m. in the morning. And for those technical people that care, I basically just changed around some of the mappings. For example, this one to many for cart items. And for some reason, it was able to solve the issue I was having with my database. Anyways, I think tomorrow is going to be our first official launch day since we're going to be releasing that landing page. I'm super, super excited. So I'll see you then. All right. I just woke up and this is going to be an absolutely crazy day. I'm going to spend the first three hours of my day finishing up some of the back end. I'm doing that entirely by myself, which I actually love. The back end is my favorite thing as a developer. I'm basically making it so users can add tickets to existing listings under our M4 picks. And I need to go ahead and add that to our front end so I could finally go ahead and record that demo video. And then hopefully by 5 p.m. today, we're going to be launching that landing page to the public. So let's get into the code.
All right, the back end's done. I spent the morning building out that ticket model, a service, and a controller, and then also a ticket DTO. And now I'm just testing in Postman, and it looks like everything is actually working properly. All I need to do is go ahead and add this into our front end, and then I think I'm actually done. So I'm looking to deploying the website right now and I find it so funny that 130 of you have already looked at that general template that I have from GoDaddy. Like you guys probably saw this and are like, what the hell is he building? I've been working for the last six hours and I finally got all the landing page stuff done. Now all I need to do is make a join community functionality where I'm basically gonna make a component that makes a Prisma post request to my database so I could just collect all of the emails for signups. I'm also gonna tweak it so that nobody could actually sign up to the accounts right now unless they have a beta access code. Okay, I just finished implementing all of that. Now all I have to do is wait for the front end developer to make the website responsive for mobile view. And then I could finally go ahead and host it on Vercel. So for now, I'm just gonna go to the gym and I'll see you guys in about two hours, I hope, for when I could finally deploy the landing page. All right, I just got back from the gym. I have a few more changes to make and then we're gonna actually launch the landing page. So I'll see you guys in about an hour with the full landing page demo. And we're now officially live at mpor.ca and I hosted all of it on Vercel. So I'm sitting here editing the video and I actually just got a call from our CEO and also our head of marketing. Basically, there are some features in the website that weren't optimized. We wanna make sure that our landing page is absolutely perfect before we even start to show it to anybody. So because of that, unfortunately, the landing page will not actually be launched. You can still go ahead and look at it on mpor.ca, but all of that stuff that I mentioned for Frosh and the booth will have to be postponed until later, unfortunately. It is better for us to release with the perfect product and get our names out when we're absolutely ready instead of forcing something and getting out an image that might not resemble exactly what we're looking for. This is where it's actually like to build a startup. It's filled with a bunch of setbacks. Anyways, let me give you back to myself. So that's gonna be it for me today. Honestly, the last few days have probably been some of the most productive days of my life, but I am absolutely wiped and I'm so happy to have hit that first milestone so I could take a few days off to relax. And there's still so much to do. We have to add all the payment informations and real-time messaging. And then we need to start with the closed beta and then open beta, et cetera, et cetera. So if you wanna see the entire rest of that journey, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to not miss a single video. I'll see you guys in the next one.